And travelers on Highway 126 between the coast and Eugene are seeing more delays as crews continue clearing trees and limbs downed by the ice storm. KEZI 9 News reporter Albert James shows us what work has been happening and why it might continue for another few weeks. Traffic is moving by slowly as crews have just wrapped up clearing part of Highway 126 between Mapleton and Walton. A lot of work has been done over the past two weeks, but ODOT says there's still a lot more to be done. The trees in that area, they're, they're you know, guesstimating the diameter is about 36 inches, and that's a lot of hard wood. So um, it's, uh, it takes a long time to clean that kind of uh, debris up. ODOT spokesperson Minnie McCart says the department saw the most damage at Knowles Creek Tunnel. ODOT staff and contractors are working in two teams, with the largest team going mile by mile from the tunnel to Venita to clear debris. The roadway is clear of limbs, she says, but their focus goes beyond just clearing the edge of the highway to the tree line of stumps, logs, and other debris. They're also having to assess and evaluate all of the trees along that highway for any potential damage or danger. So cracked trunks, dangling limbs, trees leaning over the, um, over the, towards the direction of the highway that could potentially fall if we got more wind. Once the two crews are finished, they'll do the same work on Highway 36. McCart says that route is already clear, but trees off to the side need to be assessed. However, it may take a while before they get started. We are estimating that on 126 alone, we have another five weeks um, to get the, this tree uh, debris cleaned up from the edge of the highway to that tree line. Some business owners along this part of Highway 126 are still having to deal with the effects of the ice storm. Coming up on KZI 9 News at 5, hear from the owner of this store and restaurant behind me about the big challenge they're still having to deal with. Reporting in Walton, Albert James, KZI 9 News.